What's up, guys? This is Jorge Yao again, back with another episode of Road to Legends. Now, this is on my second account, hashtag Yao Squad, which is actually pretty high right now. Now, what I wanted to do is kind of show you some of the attacks that I've been using with Lava Lunian and to show that I've actually been practicing. So some of these attacks, the first few attacks that I'm gonna show you, uh, they're actually only worth one cup, but I decided to go for the two star just for practice because with any base, you wanna make sure that, you know, it's not really a waste of gems for me because I, I really wanna make sure I hone in on my abilities so that if I find or see the base next time, then I'm more comfortable with two starring the base. So as you can see, you know, I drop Lava Hounds, I, I do a little bit of a, uh, a snipe slash surgical Lava Lunian. Um, I drop my la Lava Lunians, take out the bottom AD and the top AD, and then my loons go straight to the core, basically. Um, standard attack, not too much to commentate really on that. My minions are doing their work. Uh, single target Inferno is the only one left. Um, no Tesla, so it's actually doing a lot of work right now. I already got the 53%, so I'm already pretty confident then. And look at the town hall, it's pretty much almost dead. So in this case, I'm like, okay, I could back out right now, but I don't. And the reason why is I want to make sure that, you know, I have enough practice with every single base that I attack. Uh, even if it's only worth one cup, uh, I want to make sure that I two-star bases uh, on a consistent basis, basically. Um, especially on this account, because a two-star is valuable, super valuable on this, on this account. Uh, any amount of cups is uh, well worth it, so I want to make sure that I hone in on my abilities, and plus, since I'm relatively new at Lava Lunian, I want to make sure that I do uh, a good job with uh, securing the two star just in case I do see that base again. So there you go, uh, a two star on a one cup base. Uh, I didn't really need to drop the, the king or the queen, but I did. Uh, I wanted to, you know, just basically practice, right? So here we go, here's another attack that I did. Another one cup base. Uh, I'll show you the replay ju in just a second. Here you go. Uh, standard base again, this base is heavily used. Um, you know, I use one lava to uh, use, excuse me, one loon to, at the bottom left and top left to kind of draw out the bombs. And then once the bombs are out, I use my lava hound to take out the, and loons basically, rage stuff to take out that bottom AD. And then I'm basically spreading my loons uh, bottom left hand side. Um, with the Lava Hound taking care of the left side AD. Now you can see, you know, the Lava Hound is there, um, the enemy CC Lava Hound is coming out, and I basically have it all spread. But with the new update though, this shouldn't be an issue anymore because the Lava Hounds don't attack air anymore. So this is actually to my favor once the update comes out. So you see I take out the bottom uh, defenses and the left, left hand side defenses. Now the reasoning behind that, I explained it in one of my earlier videos, is so that the loons that I spread, they funnel right to the core. This base is designed so that your loons will funnel around the core rather than go straight to the middle. So you want to take out each side first before you have uh, your loons go towards the, the core basically. So here you here we go, uh, you know, my, I have a few minions that are kind of occupied with the Lava Hound. I'm at 40%, which is not too high, so, but I know that I can get the 50% without heroes uh, at this point. You know, I'm using a few more minions basically trying to occupy the Lava Hound and I want to take it out. Now the Lava Hound is really, it's a really pesky CC defense troop. Um, so I'm pretty happy that uh, it doesn't, it will no longer target air once the uh, update comes out. So once that update comes out, then I won't have any trouble with having to either draw out that, that uh, Lava Hound or, so we'll see a lot of different combinations in terms of what's going to be in enemy CCs. But, you know, it, it does take a while to take one of those Lava Hounds out and then the pups are kind of an annoyance. It's really used as a stalling mechanism. Um, as a drag attacker, it becomes even more important because it, you know a lava hound that stalls let's say three drags out of your 11 could really draw, take out like 30 seconds of your time and other defenses are hit while your other defenses uh, other their other defenses excuse me are hitting those dragons you know it, it really really messes up those attacks so i'm really glad that they no longer attack um and uh basically attacking air defenses or air troops sorry so as you can see i drop the king i do a cleanup crew basically uh, because I know that if I drop my queen too early, she'll wander and hit that storage as well as the elixir storage and go around the base. So I use my king to kind of clean up that one side. That way when I drop my queen, she'll go straight for the town hall. So as you can see, I drop my queen and she goes straight for the town hall. Boom. I drop my poison just in case of any skeleton spells, or not spells, sorry, traps. And I use my queen. Boom. Two star. Again, this is more of a practice kind of thing so that you know, as I get better and better at it and I see these bases and they're worth more cups, 
then I'll know what to do. So here I'm looking at the leaderboards. I'm at 49.36. I've actually gained more cups uh, overnight. I'm at 49.51, I believe. So only about 40, only 49 cups away from le hitting Legends League. So I'm getting really close, guys. Really, really close. But the real treat of this video is I wanted to showcase a 4900 attack on a 4900 attack. So I, I was actually lucky enough to find um, this guy called Wi-Fi Smasher. I know you guys probably know who he is. Um, he was former number one player. I believe is in, he's in Mega or Mega Empire. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and kind of commentate that attack because that was a huge whale for me at least. And I'm pretty sure he was pretty happy that I found him rather than you know a Titan. 3 or you know Titan 2 who could have taken a lot more cups basically so I got 2 star on him now this base that he's using right now it's a common base nowadays amongst top players and as you can see I drop my 3 lava uh, excuse me I keep saying lava but I keep drop I drop my 3 loons at the top to take out that one archer tower now the reasoning why I do that is once I take out that archer tower I can really pick off those top um, collectors really for free with archers and a few minions basically so th that's just free percentage now I'm not actually gonna atta attack from the top and another reasoning why I go from the top uh, is to draw out that lava hound and basically stall that lava hound while I do while I do my main lava loonian attack at the bottom where the town hall is so as you can see that lava hound is stalled he it takes him a while to get up there so by the time he comes back down you know my lava hound attack has already been completed so as you can see, it two air defenses left and right, bottom left and bottom right. Standard attack, drop drop my lava hounds, and then uh, arrange them up with my loons, uh, and then I freeze basically the entire core except for the single target inferno because I'm not worried about the single target. I'm worried about the multi target inferno. So um, I use my loons, have the rage in the middle, basically cleaning up things with the minions behind, basically cleaning up all the defenses and the storages and everything so that I have a clear shot at the town hall. It's all about uh, having a clear shot at the town hall so that when I drop my queen, she goes straight to the town hall. So as you can see, the Lava Hound's kind of like deciding where to go now. He's kind of towards the halfway mark between the top and the middle of the base. So at this point, I'm still like, you know, I want to stall that Lava Hound as much as possible because if that Lava Hound gets uh, near my queen, basically, my queen is basically stalled for a good 30 seconds and that's basically a huge time killer right there and I don't want that to happen so I drop my king first and that's strategic because I want to clear the side building so that my queen doesn't wander this base is specifically designed so that your queen and your king wander around the core rather than going straight to the core so I use my king to kind of stall the lava hound I use my minions at the top to kind of pick off some extra buildings basically to get to 50% I'm at 49% right now but as you can see, Lava Hound is going to my king, and then the Lava Hound is going to go towards the minions and the archers up top rather than at the bottom. I drop my wall breakers at the bottom to break through, and once I drop my queen in a second, you'll see she'll go straight to the town hall because that's the first that's the first thing in terms of the line of uh, buildings because I made that clear pathway. So she goes straight to the town hall. I drop the poison for any skeleton traps, and you know. Easy two star, boom, two stars, victory, done deal. So that is that's a huge victory for me. Uh, I know this base wins a lot, but in this case, you know, sorry for Wi-Fi Smasher, but I took 18 cups, which is huge for me. I think that bumped me up maybe like 30 ranks at this level. So um, so that was huge for me. It was a really great find, and uh, and yeah, and that, I just wanted to showcase some practices and that epic two star, uh, 4900 against 4900. Um, I think that does it for this video, but again, if you guys love my videos and want to see more, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.